to read this Bible story about the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. When Joseph and Mary reached Bethlehem in Judea, they found that the city was already full of people who, like them, had come to have their names in room due to the order of the Roman Emperor, Augustus Caesar. Joseph was worried thinking about where they would stay that night as Mary was in her advanced stage of pregnancy. As all in ends were full, Joseph was and his wife took shelter in a stable where the cattle were kept. It was heard that the Son of God, Jesus, was born. The little baby was laid in a manger in which the cattle were fed. On that night, some shepherd was tending their sheep in a field near Bethlehem. Suddenly, a great light shone upon them, and they, they saw an angel standing before them. They were filled with fear. But the angel said to the shepherd, do not be afraid, for I bring you news of joy. In Bethlehem, the Savior is born. He is a newborn baby, laying in a manger at an inn. And then they saw the sky above them was filled with angels all singing praises to God. The next moment, the angels were gone. The shepherds said to one another, let us go at once to Bethlehem and see the divine child. On reaching Bethlehem, they told Mary and Joseph how they had seen the angel and what praises they had heard about this baby. When the divine child was eight days old, Joseph and Mary named him Jesus as the angel had told them. Joseph and Mary stayed in Bethlehem with baby Jesus for some time. With time, they shifted from the stable to proper room. Meanwhile, in a country east of Judea, many miles away lived some very white men who stood at the star one night. They saw, saw a strange star shining in the sky. They at once knew that the coming of this star meant that, that a king was soon to be born in the land of Judea. These men felt a call of God to go to Judea to see this newborn king. And so, the three wise men made a long journey with camels and horses to the land of Judea. They reached at the time when Jesus was born in Bethlehem. As soon they were in Judea, they thought that very one, everyone would know about the divine baby. But to their surprise, no one could, could tell them about him. The news of the coming of this wise man was sent to Herod, the king, who was then a very old man, he ruled the land of Judea. Under the emperor at Rome, Augustus Caesar, and Herod was a wicked man. He heard about the birth of Jesus, who was meant to be king. He feared that he lose his own kingdom, so he made up his mind to kill this newborn king. Like all others, Herod tried to find out who Jesus was. He asked, Can you tell me where Christ the King of Israel is to be born? He was told that Jesus was to be born in Bethlehem of Judea, as forecast by prophets. 
Herod listed no more time. He sent for the wise men from the east and met them alone. He found them the time at which they had first seen the star. Then said to them, them Go to Bethlehem and look for the little child. And you, when you find him, let me know so that I also may come and worship him. So the wise men started towards Bethlehem. Suddenly they saw the star shining again upon the road before them. The three wise men were glad and followed the star until it until it led them to the very house where the little child was. When they saw the divine child, they knew at once that this was the king, and they worship him as the Lord. They give their offerings of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, which they had brought for the royal child. These three wise men were the Magi. That night, God came in the dream of the three wise men, telling them not to go back to Herod but to go home by another way to obey the Lord. So King Herod did not know who the divine child was. Meanwhile, Joseph too had a dream in which God told him to take his son and his wife to Egypt. As King Herod would try to kill the child, Joseph obeyed at once and they lived happily safely in Egypt. This is the whole story about the birth of Jesus Christ. Good morning.